Shabbat Shalom. We know that we have the promises of God and he never keeps us waiting too long before he will make his promises kept and he will keep his word. One of the many promises we have is beside no weapon formed against you shall prosper and beside eternal life which is the most important one of the promises is that he catches the wise in their own craftiness and one of the other promises is that we will inherit eternal life which I already said at the beginning, but I wanted to reiterate that because that's the most important. This life is a vapor. This life is a temporary place where we're in exile. If we are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, we are not here. We are not here for popularity. We're not here for gain, gaining as much as we can. We're here to treat others with love and respect. We're here to help and serve as our master taught us, as he showed us to walk. Gracie's a lot better. I just wanted to let you know she's come back to life. Gracie? Gracie, with love. Gracie, did we go for a ride this morning? Gracie. <laughs> Gracie. No, don't bite. Show your pretty face. Go for a ride? Go for a ride? No, we're not going for a ride. Ah, look at that. She was so lame. She was almost dead. They wanted to put her in the hospital. But she's better because God is God of miracles. I just wanted to say it's apparent that the earth is falling apart at the seams. The earth is giving up on us. It's had too much abuse. The earth is in travail. And the people are in lamentations, and there will be more of it. We see things unfolding as the Bible has prophesied. We see things shouted on the rooftops through the satellites of what people said in secret. It's on the news. And we see great deception and the wicked doing more wickedly. And the righteous shining and leading many to re revelations of what is there, they're shining forth the truth in a very dark era. And there are some that want to lord it over others and they want to manipulate their lives and they go about in all kind of capacities of wearing their different hats and their badges of power and uh, from the highest echelon where people are at the white house down to infraguard down to confidential informants down to people at the local communities and places of business where they all feel like they're wielding their amount of authority that they've been invested in. But the greatest authority we can have is the authority given us in Christ all power and authority has been given him. And if he deputizes you or recruits you to do something, you do it without fear. And you do it with passion and you do it with you do it with carefulness because if you are working for 
his kingdom, you have to do it in a way that it's all his glory shining forth and that it's his strength shining forth in our weakness because in our weakness, he is strong. In our frailty and in our being of no reputation and humility, his majesty, his power shine forth to show that he is a God who saves to the uttermost. He is a God that is with the people who believe in him. Not just in lip service, but in private, in their private chambers, where they are submitted to him, and they do pray for his spirit to increase in them, and they do submit to him, and they do resist the devil, and they do great exploits, some of them, for their God. And they do believe, and they do have faith, hope, and love, and they do carry out his will, whatever that may be. Sometimes we're doing it without even knowing it. Just like the workers of iniquity are doing Satan's will without knowing it, thinking they are maybe right. Because it does say in the word that there's a time coming when whoever kills you will think they're doing God's will. Maybe because we keep the commandments and we do not take the edict of a foreign God, a God that wants to worship the earth, a God of a different covenant, a God that says, you must worship on this day and no other. A God that puts forth an edict. And if you don't obey it and you obey the God, the great I am of the Bible, and you follow his command, then you will be considered a troublemaker. And you will be considered an inconvenience. And you'll be considered an outcast and a scourge of the earth and up for being hunted and stalked and exterminated. But we will go with a cloud by day and a pillar by night during the time of the close of the age. It will come full circle like at the beginning. Persecuted on the run. And great faith. Great faith. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I hope you all have a blessed day. And I hope to share a song I got today when I get a chance.